what started with an idea on a napkin between friends and colleagues for an idea to start a new wine company. To see what it turned out to be with our first annual Wine Sisterhood gathering has been above and beyond any expectation I think any of us would have ever had. We introduced social media women to wine and the wine women to social media. And some of you may find value immediately here at the gathering using some of these applications. This first annual gathering here with the Wine Sisterhood has been amazing um, for someone like me. I come more from the digital social media world. I did 70% Cab with 15% Malbec and Cap Franc. It's a little leathery. Lots of berry. Ooh, it's very pleasing to my palate. <laughs> I love wine and I wanted to learn about wine. But in addition to that learning experience, I have developed friendships, and I've had women take me under their wing and teach me, and I've had women who have come to me and said, I'd like to learn more about what you do. It's been this give and this take, and it's a beautiful friendship, and just the beginning for me. Okay, for fruit, so they're gonna have acid, and lots of it, and it's why we love them. Now, I like to call acid the bra of the wine world, because, that's right, because it lifts and separates and makes everything perky, like this. The Wine Sisterhood to me was unexpected. This was all work, but it has been so much more than that. These women are so inspiring and just really hit you at your core. When you get to know them, you can relate to them, to their stories. Totally unpretentious, which I think oftentimes you think wine and you think a lot of snooty people and that's just so not who these women are and it's just been a blessing and a great opportunity and has given me new perspectives on beyond wine, beyond business, but just life. So I did 35%, hmm, what was it, Yonkville, 35% Oakville, and 15% way down in the end, where was it, I can't remember, down in the very super tannic section, I can't remember, and only 5% of Merlot, Cab Franc, and Malbec. And this is a wine I'd actually drink, and I can't believe I actually made it. So this is like the most amazing day, you know, like most people who love wine are always like, oh, I wish I could make wine, but we're actually doing it. It has been a chance for me to take this thing that I do in the Napa Valley, which is very specific and geographically limited, and turn the wine that I love um, into an experience with people that live all over the place. So I've learned a lot. I've actually, I've gone from a person who normally has half a glass of wine and that's it, at lunch I had three glasses of wine and I still feel fab, so they must have done something right or this must be the most fabulous wine. And my girlfriend and I talk about what the tannin is and to me it's nya, nya, when you drink wine and you're like nya. So I ended up picking a pretty tanniny blend and then I didn't like what the Merlot did to it for some reason, maybe it just scented over the top. But I like uh, Petit Verdot, Malbec, Cabernet Franc. It's so important that wine be the backbone of what we're doing, but it's the life that circles around it that really kind of takes it to a different direction. Um, and I really want to thank Terry and all the girls um, who have put together such a wonderful event. It's, it's not just about, um, you know, kind of coming together and sharing stories but we're really kind of sharing our lives and we're connecting in ways that I think we will share um, parts of our lives going forward for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm.